Battlefield 3 is known for delivering amazing DLC. Now we're talking about Armored Kill. I have a feeling this has something to do with tanks. How can you get that feeling? <laughs> yeah, this is the all-out vehicle warfare pack. You can be a tanker or a pilot, and then the next second you're an infantry guy running through a corridor. You know, we're trying to focus on these different aspects of the game and really give those aspects a pack where that is the theme and the focus so that players who really like that experience can dive in and have a great time. So take me through a little bit of what you guys are showing off for Armored Kill. The new mode, Tank Superiority, which pits two tank platoons against each other to fight for control over this central point. So what you'll see is big formations of tanks rolling up against each other trying to take this point. Shells flying and explosions all over the place. Lots of tactics, of course, with flanking and suppressive and supportive fire from behind and so on, long range shots. Now, are there going to be different tanks so you'll be able to tell how differently the tanks control from each other or will they be the same tanks? We will have the tanks that you're used to about, but we're also adding the new ones, the new tank destroyers. And they are basically a faster, nimbler version of a tank, which means that you can cover ground much faster and do flanking, for example, much more effective. But you need to be careful because that comes at the cost of defense. It has advantages and disadvantages and it's up to your tactical knowledge to use them to the best effect.